The Islanders will get their first round playoff series with the Hurricanes started on Monday night as they have one of their best players returning to the ice for the postseason. So let's get into Isles playoff mode with Ethan Sears, the Islanders beat reporter for the New York Post. Ethan, are you playoff ready? <laughs> yes, sir, Dexter, I am. Thank you so much for having me. Always glad to have you. I got to make sure all our beat reporters are playoff ready because we have so much going on <laughs> with New York sports. Got to make sure you're in playoff mode. I'm trying to be in playoff mode myself. Now, Ethan, Matthew Barzal, who hasn't played in nearly two months, he's back on the ice with the Islanders and is ready to go for game one. What kind of impact can we expect from the star forward after not playing in an NHL game since February 18th? <laughs> Well, Dexter, uh, Barzal says he's 100%, and he even said he could have tried to play late in the regular season if the Islanders hadn't been doing so well without him. So uh, if that's indeed the case, it's a massive, massive boost to the Islanders. Uh, Barzal is the best passer on this team. He's the most dynamic skater on this team. He plays on the top power play unit. Uh, he plays on the top line. Um, he's the kind of player who can make a difference in a playoff series uh, just with his offensive ability and, and especially on the power play, just with how much the Islanders have struggled there. Um, if he can if he can make them better there, it would be massive for them. It would be massive. It's almost like a late season acquisition that the Islanders are getting here. Now, the Isles, they managed to get into the playoffs, clinching a playoff spot on the final day of their regular season. <clears throat> Do you like their momentum here, Ethan, heading into this first round series against Carolina? Yeah, I mean, certainly the Islanders have played their best hockey late in the season, so the momentum is on their side. Uh, just to make the playoffs, they had to go 14-7-2 uh, and two down the stretch, and they've been playing basically must-win games for every night for the last probably two months or so now. Uh, now, the playoffs are still a different animal. Uh, Carolina is still the favorite in this series. The Hurricanes are a very good team, um, but without a doubt, that should help the Islanders. Now, you just said it right there about Carolina being the favorite in this series. Ethan, the Islanders, they are clearly the underdogs in this matchup. But what are the keys to the Islanders pulling off the upset and defeating the Canes? Well, the biggest thing is their their advantage in goal. Uh, Ilya Sorokin is one of the best netminders in the league, and he's the kind of guy who is completely capable of stealing a game or two games or even the series for them. Um, against the tandem of Freddie Anderson and Antti Ranta for the Canes. Um, second, um, like I just mentioned, Barzal getting back, if that can boost the power play, it would be massive. Uh, the Islanders finished the season ranked 31st on the man advantage, and just for long, long stretches, they could not seem to buy a power play goal. Uh, now that top unit is going to have Barzal back, it'll have Bo Horvat on it. Uh, we've seen that duo together for only six games all season. So we don't really quite know what the ceiling is, but certainly it, it should be better than, than we've seen. Um, and third, they're a physical team and they're well oriented to play in the postseason when there's less time and space on the ice. So that's something that that will be an advantage for them against Carolina. And it, it probably would be against just about any other team is that they can wear teams down. They're well equipped for this style of hockey and um, and maybe are, are well equipped to to be in some games where on paper, you know, the other team might have a little bit more skill or speed. All right, there you go. You have the keys. Ethan, are you willing to give us an early pick for the series here? Are you willing to go out on the limb and tell us who you think <laughs> might win? Um, I, I will, I, I reserve the right to, to change my mind when you I do. when I do it for the paper. But uh, right now, I would probably say Carolina in, in six or seven. I, I think it'll be okay. a very competitive series. But the, the Canes will, will probably pull it out again, though. I, I, I do reserve the right to change my mind. That's right. Oh, you don't have to be locked into these picks. Ethan has the right to change his mind. <laughs> but the early pick is a long series with Carolina winning in six or seven. Early pick. We'll check back in with you, Ethan, for sure on that. That is Ethan Sears, New York Islanders beat reporter for the New York Post, doing a great job covering them as always. Ethan, thank you for your time, and we will talk soon. Thanks so much for having me, Dexter.